Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about Tartaglia, child, whatever you want to call them. We're going to go over some artifacts that are good for them, uh, weapons that are good for them, constellations, things like that, talents, and just generally how you want to build them and then where his stuff is. So yeah, right away, child is a weird character because he not only uses a bow, but then he kind of turns into like a melee character. So with that, it's very strange because I'm pretty sure when you want to do like a big damage or result, you're going to be using his melee form. And it depends on how you build him. So his best weapon is the Polar Tang, and I don't have it. Or Polar Star. Is the Polar Tang from One Piece? Isn't it Law's boat? The Polar Star is a five-star weapon. If you don't have that, you can use the Thundering Pulse. With him, you do want to basically build crit damage, crit rate, things like that. You're just going to look for him being a Hydro Damage dealer so he's got a few options for weapons i don't really have too many you want thundering pulse good option if you don't have his main weapon you can also go with the viridescent hunt is a good option and the new one i think it's called scion of the blazing sun or something like that it's like the new battle pass weapon that is a good option you can use too and then polar star things like that for this you're going to want to use the new artifacts too for him nymph stream four piece set i would say that's pretty good go with that i'm blocking i'm just gonna read it after normal charged and plunging attacks which i said he does do a lot of auto attacking mirrored nymph stacks attack will be increased by six seven percent 16 25 percent and hydro damage bonus will be increased by four percent nine percent and fifteen percent there's a lot to this if you want to try to read it there you go you kind of see it there but basically after doing some auto attacks, things like that, your burst is going to do a lot more damage. So we're going to go with this. Uh, you do want to build Sands, Attack, Goblet, Hydro Damage, and then Crit Rate, Crit Damage for Circlet, I guess is what it's called, and things like that. And then the rest, you want to just kind of go for in substats, Attack Percent, Crit Rate, Crit Damage, and Elemental Mastery. Again, he just wants to do a big burst of damage. I have him, but I don't have him built. He's not one of my favorites to play, unfortunately. I feel like bow users in this game are just really lackluster compared to physical damage characters. But overall, he's still very cool, and I know he can do a lot of damage, especially with a good team comp. Constellations. Basically, I just go over if you would want the first one or not. Uh, dec decreases the cooldown for Foul Legacy uh, Raging Tide by 20%. Nothing crazy. If you get it, cool. Besides that. You don't really need it. Talents, if you're going to be trying to make him like a one shot, things like that, you do want to upgrade your ult and your foul legacy, Raging Tide, like your E is okay to upgrade. I would recommend it, but your main priority would be your ultimate because that is your best thing. He's basically going to shift out ult and then rotate back out and hopefully just get elemental or energy recharge back from parties. So to ascend him, you're going to need the water gemstones, everything like that from fighting Oceanids. Hydro, Hypostasis, things like that. Oceanid is an item you need. You do need to collect these to upgrade him. So you should be fighting the Oceanid. Uh, the Star Conch, you can buy these uh, every few days from a seller. There's a video I have about that. Basically, just run along the beach. It's pretty easy to find them. We'll go through quick little areas where you can get things like that and go from there. And yeah, that's basically it. I guess we'll just go right into uh, just where to find his resources, stuff like that. So a really good place to find the seashells is right here along like this beach shore. As soon as you spawn in, there's one right in front of you. So you can go that way or you can turn around and go the opposite direction too. I'm pretty sure there's some over here by this like mini boss right here. Yeah. So basically you just run this way. We already got two. This is three. There's more down here. It's kind of far. I'll just teleport back when I'm done. All right, so we just got 12 there. Pretty sure there's more on the other side of this island, but for me, it's just not really worth it. I have like 400 of them already. So once you get 12 there, you can teleport back and run this way. If you want to go all the way over there, there's another one right there. Got these. There's also one just like right here. 
So you can cross and get like this one and the one over there. Once you got those, you'll teleport down to here. And you're going to head outside over this way. Right here. And you're basically just going to run around this entire little island and just collect them. There's also a bunch of these shells all along this beach, this entire like coast beach line, things like that. So we'll go run that real quick. It stops around here. And again, like up here, there's so many more throughout this like whole little section that you can find. To make this easier, I'm just going to switch to an animal team. For anyone that doesn't know, having two Animo characters on your team let you uh, not use your stamina as much. I think it's like 25% stamina reduction. So you could basically run longer, fly further. So here, and we're just going to do... You're just going to run the beach. That's really all it is. All right, and this is the last one. I should have gotten somewhere around like, I want to say like 26 to 30 of these shells, maybe even more. So once you collect all of those, just go to a friend's, run it back, do it all again over and over. You're gonna need like, I think it's like 160 total to max out the character. But yeah, do that. And that's really all you gotta do for that. Child's talent level material. Monday, Thursday, Sunday are your best days to farm uh, his books. Sunday, every, everything Sunday you can get. You can farm any resource, anything you want on Sunday. So Monday, Thursday, go for his uh, talent level up materials. And if you have the Polar Star, those materials come out Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you got both and you were lucky enough to get his weapon and uh, him, you don't have to farm the same stuff on the same day, which is really nice. It's split between the week, so you can like Spend your daily resin on that, and then your daily resin on the other one. As for the boss of the fight, it's the Oceanid. It's super easy. Uh, he sends out like a bunch of like water apparatus appearance things. Just freeze them. It's really all it is. If you have um, Ganyu, if you have the free um, Aloy character they gave out like years ago, um, she's an ice user, like Archer. Literally, it does not matter who you use. As long as you have an ice character, you're good. Okay, so the Oceanid spawns, and it's you can't fight it right now. You have to wait. It's going to shoot this, and you don't actually shoot it. You shoot this stuff. It spawns these, like, little animals. Say so it's going to shoot it somewhere, and breaking these is actually what hurts it. So you got a frog this time. Again, if you could just stay far away from it and shoot it like this, you could just keep them perma frozen. Now this right here is going to hurt you. So I always dodge under and it avoids the water. Then it's going to take away some platforms. It's really not that hard of a fight or that big of a deal. The sometimes there's flying. So these are boars and that's a frog again. So really not that bad. All right, so I didn't dodge it that time. So instead, I'm going to have to drop down Bennett's ult. Stun him with E. Now, these guys don't fly, but they shoot a lot. But they're weak. Again, now she's going to get rid of more platforms that you stand on. Nothing crazy. So I just meet it where it's going to be. I'll go for this one first. Freeze the birds. Knock them out. And I didn't get any flying ones this time. So it's just this bird. And when he jumps, he like leaves some things on the ground. 
So you don't shoot it at all. Also, it spawns a thing that hurts you. I just didn't dodge it. A really easy way to also dodge it is if you have an ult, just use your ult and it gives you like iframes so and vulnerability frames and you can't be hurt. So, but yeah, that's basically all you got to know. Besides that, the only other thing you have to fight for child level up material would be the boss Tartaglia himself. You're looking for these like weird spiky things. And yeah, you get them from, I think it's like level 70 and up. Yeah, so you have to be able to fight the second level of it to get the drops. But the higher you can fight, the better your odds are of just getting things. Pretty sure you're guaranteed like one um, of these like each time. Plus it can drop the water ones you need and things like that. So I uh, hope that helped. And yeah, let me know down below if there's any other characters you want me to go over or talk about or anything like that. And thank you so much for watching and look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Bye.